Hey guys, welcome back to another grocery haul. This is Melissa from Steals, Deals, and Meals. Welcome back to my regular viewers. Those of you who are new, hi, welcome. Um, this is my weekly grocery haul. We are a family of four. I have two teenagers. Um, my daughter and I are vegan. I also do vegan keto. I know it sounds a little contradictory, but I have a whole playlist. I'll leave that linked up above here if you guys want to check that out. Um, I also do a lot of like what I eat in a day, so if you want to check those out as well. Um, and like I said, my daughter's vegan is also, and then my husband and my son do eat meat and cheese, so you will always see a variety of items in my grocery haul. So I welcome everybody to my channel, whether you are vegan or not, um, no judgments. Um, and hopefully you guys have no judge judgments of us as well since we are a mixed family um, when it comes to our diets. Um, so, you know, I wanna, you know, I'm gonna share with you guys what we got this week. We are at Aldi's this week. Um, last week we went to Sam's Club and Walmart. If you have not seen that yet, I'll link that above here as well as down below in case you haven't seen last week's grocery haul. Um, I bought a bunch of, uh, you know, bulk items at Sam's Club was because we hadn't been there in a while and some keto friendly items. So if you are somebody who does do keto, whether it's vegan or not, um, they have a lot of great keto items there. Um, you will see a bunch in this haul as well, like I said, because I do vegan keto. <laughs> but uh, let's get into this. Oh, and I actually also went to my local shop, right? I don't know if that's something that's just on the East Coast because we are in New York. Um, I went to my local shop, right? Because they had a couple things on sale and they sometimes have some clearance bread. Um, because I didn't get into Walmart this week to get clearance bread because if you are one of my regulars I usually get clearance bread if I'm there, but I do still have some so let's get into this because you guys know if you watch my videos Sometimes I can get a little uh, I can talk too much in the beginning of my intro So let's get into this week's grocery haul I will try to remember the prices as we go along and I will leave the total down below in the description box for you guys Let's get into this. Let me show you what we got this week all right, so first up, I got the flour tortillas. I always get these when I go to Aldi's because they are the best price around. 10 count, 99 cents, can't beat it. I grabbed two of those. Those are obviously for the family. Um, and I will, as we go along, kind of tell you some things I may be making for dinner um, or prepping, you know, for future meals. So we're probably gonna do some sort of um, enchiladas or, you know, burritos or something like that. Sometimes I will even make some ahead and freeze them as well. You can do that, always do that. Fill them, roll them up, put them in a, you know, either in a, uh, like a foil pan or just throw them in the bag, a baggie and take them out, you know, one at a time if they, if, you know, just somebody wants just one, a quick little bite to eat, um, just makes life a little bit easier. Um, so like I said, best price around 99 cents. Avocados were on sale this week. So excited that they are back to being on sale. They have been a little bit high priced everywhere. So they were at 69 cents. So I picked up 12. Now a little tip in case you don't know, let them sit them on your counter um, and let them get ripe as soon as they are ripe. Put them in your refrigerator and they will last um you know quite a while you know probably use them within a week or so um you know i think i've even had them in my refrigerator maybe a week and a half and they will stay fresh so it's a good way like if you if with a sale like this that you want to buy a bunch um that you can get through them all because you know once they all go ripe you know everybody always thinks you got to eat them all at one time but nope you can put them in your fridge and they will last and they will be perfect. Um, so, and I hear sometimes some people freeze them. Let me know down below, do you freeze avocados? I know they sell them in the store like that, but I've never tried that. Um, so let me know down below. Have you, you know, ever had frozen avocados? Do you freeze your avocados? Um, but you can make them last. And I believe Aldi's has them on sale next week as well. So I'll probably be back buying more because that is a great price. Also got a thing of hot dogs, uh, hot dog buns, not hot dogs, hot dog buns for the family. Last week we got the vegan hot dogs. We hadn't gotten to them. Um, so, and I believe the boys still have some hot dogs as well. Um, so we're going to do a hot dog night again uh, this week. I know it kind of seems like we've been gravitating to this kind of stuff lately. I will obviously be doing it no bun. Um, but uh, like I said, these will be for the family. And these were, I believe, I think they were 80 80 cents, 86 cents, something like that, under a dollar. Also got some pretzels for the family, just for snacks and lunches. So these are the pretzel mini twists. They also have the sticks. These were a dollar 19. Also got some white round tortilla chips. These were a dollar 19 as well. 
more produce i got some baby bella mushrooms my daughter loves these and i love them as well but these will probably be mostly for her um and these were a dollar 19 it is a let's see eight ounce package not too bad and now let me show you the rest of the produce before we get into the other stuff um, I also picked up a bag of fresh cranberries. I know it's a little early. We still have a few weeks for Thanksgiving, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab them now and, you know, which, and I have a couple other items as well, just because, you know, as it gets closer, I don't want them to sell out. And my son loves cranberry sauce. I do as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it this year. Being that I am doing vegan keto, I'm going to try to be as strict as possible for Thanksgiving. Um, you know, probably may not be 100%, but I'm going to try to be as close as possible. So I just got one bag for now. Um, if I can get some as we get closer to uh, Thanksgiving, I might just pick them up anyway and freeze them. You can just freeze them as is. You don't have to cook them prior. So, And these were a dollar. Also got some Roma tomatoes, and we actually already used two of these. You guys know the drill sometimes. I come home with a grocery haul, and we've, we have dinner, and then I film it later on. Um, so we used two tomatoes. Uh, let's see. There are five in here, so there was seven in the bag altogether. Uh, these were a dollar. I believe it was a dollar twenty-nine. <clears throat> also got some green seedless grapes for the family. They love green grapes, one of their favorites. Um, I think my son likes the red too, but I know my daughter and my husband prefer the green. Um, and these were 89 cents a pound and this, the bags were, um, two pounds. Then I also, another regular item that I always get at Aldi's, cause you'll see a few of the items, um, if you're new to my Aldi hauls that I always have to buy when I am there. And I usually, usually will buy multiples of them in case I am not back the following week. So I absolutely love the tofu from Aldi's. It is a great price, $1.69 a package, can't beat it, is it is organic. You know, when you wanna buy, you know, when you wanna get soy, you know, when you use soy products, sorry, not getting the words out, soy products, they usually tell you to try to get the organic is, you know, a little bit better for you. Um, so I do love that it is organic. It is an extra firm tofu, which I absolutely love. And if you are watching your carbs, it is zero net carbs, as you can see. Um, you know, for those of you who have watched my videos before, you guys, sorry to be repetitive, but I just figured I would let every, the new, the new uh, viewers know that this is zero net carbs because the total is two, fiber is two, which makes it zero. So you also get eight grams of protein per serving, low calorie, a little bit of fat, you know, but I usually cook this in like some avocado oil or coconut oil. Um, sometimes I'll even do like a coconut, like, um, cream curry and put it in there as well. So good. I just absolutely love that this is zero net carbs. So I got four of those because like I said, I always have to buy multiples of things like this. Another thing I buy multiples of, and there are two of them, not too many, but two is the vegan cream cheese. We love this so much. It is so good. Um, I loved, um, you know, not that I eat, you know, bread or anything, but I just like using, uh, like having a little bit of this with maybe some like pecans on top or a little bit of the everything, but the bagel seasoning, it's very, very satisfying. Um, you can even dip celery in it. I didn't buy any celery this week or even cucumbers, um, but it's so, it's so good. And if you eat bread, it's good on the bread too, because my daughter eats it on the bread and she loves it. Um, I also, along the lines of that, got the, oh, and that was 239 also got the dairy-free sour cream. We love this as well. Nothing really planned for it, um, but I just figured I would pick it up, um, you know, just in case, you know, they sell out or something, being that we're getting closer to the holidays. I figure in case I want to do like some sort of like dip or something with veggies, it would be good for that. And, you know, maybe do like a homemade onion dip or something like that. We'll see. Or it's all even good if I do like, um, if we do the tacos or, or I do like a, ta a keto like taco ball. Um, it's really good for some extra fats, um, very low net carbs. I think it's only like one or two net carbs for two tablespoons. So really great on that. Same thing with the cream cheese, very low net carbs. Um, and then along the lines of cream cheese, but I got the regular cream cheese for my son. This was 79 cents. Um, then we're going to jump back here to some more snacks. I picked up these Millville chewy bars for the boys. These are the peanut butter chocolate chip. There are 10 in a pack. These were $1.19. Um, and then I missed uh, I missed the Halloween clearance stuff. You know, I don't know what they had left, uh, but it, I didn't get in there until a few days after Halloween. Um, so I did miss, you know, 
whatever they had left because I know they had marked it down quite a bit. I'm hoping that I can fit, they, I can hit some other stores. Maybe if I do and I get some good things, I will do another video. We'll see if I can get there. Um, but this, this is all they had left. So they had the Kellogg's chocolate frosted flakes cereal, spooky cereal with marshmallows. This will be for the boys because obviously this is not vegan because the marshmallows and stuff and I don't know whatever else might be in there but this was only 74 cents i thought it would be fun you know like a fun special treat for them for that price can't beat it um and then my son's been bugging me for candy corn so i figured i would wait until after halloween because it's going to be cheaper so i got a bit this is actually quite a big bag of it um so i might like ration it out because you know candy corn is very high sugar and we have candy from trick-or-treating as well um, so this was only 49 cents and like I said, that was pretty much it. They really didn't have much else left. Um, let me down below, let me know down below. Did you guys go to Aldi's and catch any of the Halloween after Halloween clearance? Cause I would love to know what you guys found. Um, another snack for my husband and I believe my son likes these as well. Um, these are just the fig bars. It's kind of like, you know, their brand, you know, of, uh, fig Newtons and these are only 98 cents. So another item that I've been buying lately when I go to Aldi's is this, um, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but the Malseroth, Malseroth um, chocolate. The chocolate from Aldi's is so good. Now, not all of it is vegan, so if you are vegan, you know, just, just check the label. Um, but I'm pretty sure this one, uh, this line here uh, in particular um, is, uh, I think they are all vegan. I am, like I said, I don't have them all in front of me, but I know like, I think the chili one is, and I think there's one other that I know for sure, but this is the dark mint. My daughter loves this. I usually, and what it is is basically, it, it looks like a large bar, but when you open the package, I took one out so you guys can see, it is a smaller, five little individual sized chocolate bars. Sometimes I'll give her, her her a whole one. Sometimes I just break them in half and put them in her lunches just for a little special treat. She absolutely loves these. You can see it is uh, 0.44 ounces. Um, it is a decent size. I don't know, you know, I don't know if it's you know hard to tell on the screen or not the size, but it is a decent size um, bar that they give you. And it's so nice that they are like individually wrapped like that. Uh, so. You know, it makes it easier for, you know, like on the go and stuff like that. So she loves these. And these are only $1.99. And like I said, their chocolate there is so good. I highly recommend it. Also back here, I got a uh, container of peanuts for my husband. He loves snacking on those. Those are $1.79. I also picked up for myself another bag of these uh, papitas. I don't know. It looks like something on the bag. I don't know. Something must have spilled. Anyways, um... So these are the roasted with salt. They also had the ones with the shell on them. I prefer them without the shells. These are so good. I don't know if this is just a seasonal item, so that's why I picked another bag up because I just love these so much. Um, I actually did a video recently, a what I eat video, and I made a pumpkin soup and sprinkled these on top. So good. I'll link that right above here in the iCards in case you haven't seen it um, because it was all like fall themed and like pumpkin flavored things. It was really good. Um, I really enjoyed that. Uh, I really enjoyed eating that day because I, I love everything pumpkin. Um, so like I said, definitely go check out that video. Uh, also got the Dakota's Pinto beans. Uh, we love these. Um, well, not me on keto, but these are such a great price. It is a large can. Uh, I don't see the ounces, but it's almost like, uh, it's, I think a regular size can is like 16 ounces. I think this is double and this is only $1.09. Um, and usually we use this to make like our refried beans for um, like when we do Mexican night as well. Um, then I also picked up some yogurts for my son and these are only 33 cents. I got the strawberry, the blueberry, and the raspberry. And then also for my son, I just picked up two of the macaroni and cheese. These are 33 cents just to throw in the cabinet in case like there's a day where he needs, you know, to make something to eat for himself. Um, you know, or he comes home from school and he's hungry. It's just something quick that he can make on his own. He's pretty self-sufficient and can cook, but you know, stuff like this sometimes is, you know, a lot easier to do. Um, also got some pickles as well. I don't know if you guys can see. These are the kosher dill sandwich slices. Um, we love these as a family. These are probably going to be gone very quickly. He's going to probably try to save them for when we do the hot dog night. Um, but we shall see because everybody loves them and very keto friendly, zero carbs, can't beat it. So when you're looking for a little salty snack, pickles are the thing. 
Um, also picked up for my son. And this will actually last him several weeks because this is a larger... Um, they had like the smaller container, which I think was only like six, I don't know, it was like six or seven ounces um, for $249. Um, oh no, it was, I think it was eight ounces actually, eight ounces for $249, but they had this 15 ounce one for $399. So this was actually a better value. This is the family size and it's actually separated in two separate pouches, so that will make it convenient as well. Always check, guys, you know, because sometimes it's cheaper to buy the smaller package. Sometimes it's cheaper to buy the larger. So always check the ounces um, compared to the price. And it can save you, you know, it'll save you a little bit of money here or there, which is always great. So like I said, this will last quite a while. I only put a very um, small amount on his sandwiches. I mostly put like lettuce and tomato and things like that and just a little bit of the deli meat because I don't like him to have too much of that stuff. Um, so... Um, you know, like I said, this will last a while and you can freeze it too. You can portion it out, throw it in the freezer. So for us vegan girls, I also picked up this, uh, meatless ground plant protein. And I know it does look like beef. It's kind of weird. Um, but this is completely vegan. I did pick this up, I think a couple weeks ago. I did a, like a little mini Aldi haul. I'll link that right above here in the iCards in case you haven't seen it. I think I had gotten this and like a bunch of like new, like fall items, um, which, you know, like I said before, I absolutely love, even though now they're putting up the Christmas stuff. So hopefully maybe within the next week or two, I will have um, some Christmas items to share with you guys from Aldi's. But anyways, so I picked these up as well as the Beyond Burgers. They didn't have the Beyond Burgers this time. I'm so disappointed because they are such a great price there. So I grabbed this again. We have tried it. It does not taste like the Beyond Burgers. Um, I want to almost say it tastes a little bit more almost like a meatloaf texture, almost like it has breading in it, not that it does have breading in it. Um, and the ingredients are not as good at, as the Beyond Burgers. You know, it's all processed, I know. Even the Beyond Burgers, it is a processed thing. But the Beyond Burgers have more of like a meaty texture as opposed to these almost feel like, like I said, more of like a meatloaf where a meatloaf would have like breading and like stuff, like fillers in it. So, like I said, it's... It's good, it's not, but it's not as good. We prefer the Beyond Meat better. But I just figured I'd grab it because I might do like, I because it tastes like a meatloaf, I might make a meatloaf out of it at some point. Um, it is frozen, so I'm just gonna put it in the freezer and you know, we'll have it at some point. You can also use it, you know, like in the picture, you know, for tacos. You can make chili out of it. I mean, you know, I love that they are, you know, coming out with a lot of these products in um, in Aldi's um, for, you know, vegans or even people who just want to have a vegan meal once in a while. You know, you don't have to be 100% vegan to enjoy these things, you know. Um, so I, I do love that they are coming out with a lot of these products. Um, so I did get two of them. They are $5.99. Like I said, they are not, you know, the best ingredients. Um, I know I showed it in that other video. So go check out that other video. So um, you know, if you want to check out what the ingredients are that, you know, the macros are not too bad either. It is only, uh, let's see, two net carbs per serving and there's three and a half servings in here. So, you know, not bad on the macros. Um, but if you want to see all the ingredients and everything, I listed it in the, um, the other video, you know, so that way we don't have to go through it again because I couldn't even find it on the package last time. So check out that video. Anyways, moving on, because I think I've talked about that way too long. For the boys, I got some original meatballs for them, and we already opened them because they had meatball subs for dinner, um, which is why I had to use the two tomatoes, because I had to make a quick tomato sauce because I realized I was all out. So, you know, you can make a quick little tomato sauce just from using fresh tomatoes. Um, let me know if you want. Do you want to see a video on that? Maybe I could do a video, you know, even though it's not really tomato season, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, so I got this for them, $4.49. There are a ton in here. These will last several weeks as well. Also picked up for my husband the Genoa salami. This will be for his lunches also. Um, and then one last thing, which will be for the holidays, but I wanted to grab it now, is the uh, deep dish pie crust. Uh, there are two pie crusts in here. They are nine inches. These were only $1.49. So I don't usually make pie crust from scratch. And to be honest, I really don't make pies. I'm not really somebody, I usually make cookies and cupcakes. I'm, that's more what kind of a baker I am. But my daughter really wants me you to know, make her a pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. 
So I figured, and I, I have done like crustless, 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 <laughs> crustless or like keto friendly um, uh, pumpkin pies before where I've done like a pecan crust on the bottom, if you could call it that. Um, but I've, I've never done a traditional one like this. So I'm going to make her a pumpkin pie from scratch, which like I said, I've done before. So I can definitely make the filling once again. Um, and I will use it in one of these pie crusts. Now, as far as I know, I'm going to show you guys the ingredients because even though I've been vegan for almost four years, I'm still learning. Sometimes, you know, some of the ingredients is not 100% clear whether it's vegan or not, you know, it's not going to just always say milk or egg, you know, because there are other names for things. So I'm going to flip this over carefully because now it's starting to defrost a little bit. And I'm going to show you guys the ingredients. Now, obviously, when you look at it at first, you see it says contains only wheat. So you don't see it saying milk or eggs, but I know sometimes there can be some hidden ingredients. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick. I'm not going to read them off, but if you see anything in here that I am missing, um, like, I don't know what this meta, meta bisulfite is. It says added as a dough conditioner. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'll have to go, maybe Google that or let me know down below. Let me know. I know there's a little bit of, of a glare. So that's what I'm trying to move the, the camera around so you guys can see, but let me know. Do you see anything in there that could be, you know, non-vegan? Let me know. If not, I'll just make something, you know, this will be for the boys, um, you know, or give it to somebody else if not so but it, you know it seems like it is they did have the other pie crust like the roll out ones that they sell and those had lard in them and I know obviously lard is not vegan but this one doesn't have the lard so it seems like these will be okay and good to go like I said if not we will figure something else out or I will just have to make a pie crust from scratch so you know with some vegan butter so we'll see we'll see what happens let me know guys down below if you spotted anything now last few things are from like i said my local shop right i ran in there because there was something on sale so i checked the bread clearance because they sometimes will have some and i got these blueberry bagels and these were 99 cents and i think their original price on their bagels is a dollar i think a dollar 99 or 249 um, so 99 cents is a great deal. I just throw these in the freezer. The family would take them out as needed. Also got a huge loaf of some white bread. Um, and this was only 69 cents. And then the reason I went in there was to get my Califia milk. And I didn't even know it was on sale. Um, I just went in there to get it because I absolutely love this milk. It is so good. It is keto friendly. Not only just keto friendly and vegan friendly. It tastes so good. So... I went in there, usually it's $3.99, um, $3.99 or $4.99. So I try to get it when it's $3.99, but it was on sale this week. Like I said, I didn't even check the flyer. It was on sale for $2.99. So I stocked up because that is such a great price. And these are a little bit bigger than like the usual containers that I get. Um, they are 48, yeah, 48 ounces. I can barely see it back there. So 48 ounces. So I usually like to get this toasted coconut one. And this is coconut and almond milk blend. There is no carrageenan. So if you're somebody who's, you know, wants to be careful of that, because I know it can cause some stomach issues. And if you want to check on the macros, if you are not familiar, like I said, 45 calories, four grams of fat. And you can see there total carb one, fiber one, which makes it zero net carbs, which is so great. And only, only one gram of protein, but you know what guys, we can get our protein in other places and even have some calcium and iron in there as well. So I love this. I love this in my smoothies. I love it in my coffee. It is so creamy. Um, so I got five of those because like I said, I could not pass up that price. They're good until I think like a couple of them are December and a couple of them are January. So most likely they're probably going to be gone before then <laughs> because we enjoy, I, I enjoy it and my daughter drinks it as uses it as well. And then I also picked up just one of the almond milk creamer as much as I love the milk in my coffee. I just figured for a special treat because this is a little bit smaller bottle. This is, let's see, 25.4 ounces. <clears throat> And this is the almond milk creamer, and this is really, really creamy. Um, I'm even thinking of maybe trying to see if it'll like, I don't know if it'll whip into like a whipped cream, possibly, because that could be interesting to try. 
Um, and this is one tablespoon is 10 calories, 0.5 calories, <clears throat> or 0.5 fat, sorry guys. And as you can see, zero carbs, zero fiber, zero protein, because it's only a creamer. It's not, you know, and I believe this one says it is, um, has no carrageenan in it as well, I think, maybe. I don't know where the ingredients are on the bottom here. There we go. Um, almond milk. So there are the ingredients there. Contains almonds and coconut, obviously. Um, so that is, you know, like I said, a special little treat because, you know, the milk is pretty creamy, but I just figured just for a little, you know, something a little special. And this was $2.99 as well, which was a sale price because I think that is usually $3.99. So, so excited about that because it is my absolute, absolute favorite non-dairy milk. But it is hard to find in my area. Like ShopRite is the only place as well as like my local health food stores, but they charge like $5.99 a container and I refuse to pay that because I think that's a little bit too much. So that's why I always go to my shop right and get it. Um, anyways guys, this is it for my um, grocery, haul, grocery haul. Now I do have some more produce to show you. If you are new here, I get a farm share um, every week. Um, it started in June. It ran all the way till actually this was our last, very last one. I'm so sad to say. And like I said, we pay for it in advance. Breaks down to $25, about $25 a week. All organic, all local produce. Um, and then I go every weekend, I pick it up and you know, and every week is different. So I'm going to share with you guys what I got. Like I said, this is my last week. So I may have to start, you know, I'll probably start purchasing some more produce, you know, in my regular store, you know, regular stores. And the farm is actually open for a few more weeks. So I may still go stop in and purchase a few items as well. So I'm going to put this away and then I'm going to share with you guys what I got in the farm share this week. All right, guys. So here it is my very last farm share for the season. I'm so sad. To see it go, I love getting this farm fresh, organic, local produce every week. So very sad to see it go. Um, we will miss it until June. Um, so let me show you what we got this week. As you can see, we got a lot of greens. We're going to be eating a lot of greens this week. Whatever I don't get to, I will probably cook and I will freeze because um, you can do that as well. Some stuff you can even save. You know, you can freeze it raw and then cook it after you take. You know, after you take it out of the freezer, you can do that as well. So this is what we got this week. So I got one big gigantic thing of bok choy and I actually still have the one from last week as well. I just did not get a chance to cook it. So I definitely have to get to that soon and cook that up. Also got a beautiful head of some green lettuce. Just looks absolutely beautiful. I got a bag of arugula, which I have not had in a while. Um, my stores, it's always hard to find bags, just plain bags of arugula. Like sometimes I see it with the spinach, which I don't, not really a fan of raw spinach. I just like the arugula. So very excited that we got that this week. Also got two big, beautiful things of some fennel. And usually what I do is I cut up this part down here, roast it up, just a little salt and pepper, olive oil, avocado oil, whatever you got. Um, and it gets like caramelized and like sweet. It's really, really good. You can eat it raw as well. And then the fennel fronds, that's what all these like, you know, like little leaves, not really leaves on the ends. You can definitely wash these, save them, wrap it in like some paper towel, put it in a bowl. They will last several weeks because um, I actually just uh, finished up some that I had from several weeks ago um, and they will stay fresh. Um, and what you can do is you can use these sort of like in place of like dill and recipes. So you can make like a dressing. Um, my daughter likes them sprinkled on her sandwiches. I just made like a vegan chicken salad uh, yesterday. And I use, that's how I used up the ones that I had left over from the previous weeks. So good. It just gives it a nice flavor as well. So use all of your fennel when you get it. You can use all of it. Also got some rainbow chard once again. Also got some kale. I'm not sure which one this is. I don't think it's the curly kale. I don't remember which one this is, but we got some beautiful, a bunch of kale. Also got some sweet potatoes. My daughter loves these, so these will come in handy as well. I'll probably even save some for Thanksgiving because um, I still have a couple from last week as well. Also got some turnips. Love these. If you do keto, I think these are a little, little bit higher carb, so, you know, just kind of limit them, but they're still okay. You know, it's all in... All in moderation, you know, because all in all, this thing, these things are very good for us. 
Um, and then also a few things that I did purchase in the little farm stand that they have. I picked up some two uh, heads of um, or bulbs, bulbs of garlic. <laughs> um, I also got some red onions. And then I purchased uh, several more apples. I know last week's haul I showed you guys that I got a bunch of apples as well. And we still have some left. My husband ate some, he likes to snack on them, but I wanna make a big bunch of applesauce. I think I mentioned that, that last week, um, that I usually like to make applesauce and portion it out and freeze it and keep it for like baking and snacking and things like that. Um, and I don't know, maybe, maybe an apple pie. Should I make an apple pie maybe with one of those pie crusts possibly? We'll see. I might do that as well because there were two of those pie crusts. So we will see because these apples are absolutely beautiful. And my husband says they taste so good. I've been very tempted, but apples are very high glycemic and I'm trying to be very good being keto and everything. So, but he did say they are very good. So that's it for this week's grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out what we got this week. Uh, leave me your comments down below. Let's chat. What did you get in your grocery hauls this week? I love, you know, I just love talking to you guys. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that we were at Sam's Club this week. Uh, hopefully we can maybe get back within the next couple weeks or so and get a few more. They had a lot more like keto items if you're interested in that. Um, and I'll leave all my links down below for Ibotta and Fresh Rewards as well. I don't know if I, I don't remember if I mentioned that at the beginning, but Fresh Rewards is just you scan your receipts, you get points, and they give you gift cards. Can't beat it. I love these apps that they have that you can earn money back on your groceries. So all that stuff will be linked down below for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. That way it knows, it lets YouTube know that you like these videos and gets my videos out there into the YouTube universe and we can grow this channel and I can, I can bring some more great content to you. So make sure you give that video a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching and until next week, I will see you soon. Bye guys.